guys, it's Allison. So for today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make some really cool DIY school supplies. I know the school supplies in stores are super expensive, so instead of spending the extra money on those, you should definitely just make them your own. Because if you think about it, maybe there could be another kid in school who has like the same cute school supplies. But if you DIY your school supplies, then you'll just be so unique and everybody will just want your school supplies. Also, I wanted to let you guys know about my back to school giveaway. So if you haven't entered that giveaway, I'm going to list all the rules in the description box. So after this video, definitely enter that giveaway. We don't want to miss out on any cute school supplies. So enter that giveaway. Um, yeah. So if you're not already subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe to my channel. And before you guys move on to the video, let me know when you guys get back to school. I get back in September, but I know some of you guys get back in like July or August or September too. So just let me know when you get back. So without further ado, let's get started. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I'm reading a book, I somehow always lose my place. I'm gonna show you how to make really cute DIY bookmarks so that never happens to you again. So of course I wanted my bookmarks to be cute. So when in doubt, I always search up Tumblr PNGs and I find the cutest images. So definitely try that if you're having trouble like picking like an image. Literally for this DIY, you just need your printed piece of paper and tape. So all I'm doing is just taking a piece of the duct tape and applying it directly on the image. And then I flip the paper over and applied a second piece of duct tape along the back. Now all you have to do is just cut out the image and I personally left some of the white on the bottom just so I can have some like room to show like the image more. And if you pick a design with a hole in the middle, all you have to do is use an X-Acto knife, go crazy, pick whatever image you want. Alright guys, it's time to toss out your old boring pens and replace it with this really cute, coolest inspired fluffy pen. All you're gonna need is a pen, a hot glue gun, and a feather boa. So this is honestly really easy, though it looks a little intimidating. All you have to do is take the first piece and glue it in a U shape. Then take the second piece and glue it on top of the first piece. And this will literally create the perfect furball. So instead of gluing the boa directly to the pen, you could actually just glue it to the cap. So it's really up to you. Just have fun with it and just try this out. If you're a minimalist, this next DIY is definitely for you. All you're gonna need is Mod Podge, cardstock paper, and a notebook. So apply an even coat of the Mod Podge on the notebook. Then all you have to do is take the cardstock paper and smooth it nice and even on the notebook. Just cut off the edges and then you're done. If you're like me and you're always forgetting your pens or maybe your calculator to class, then this next DIY is literally perfect for you. So the first thing I do is kind of just like lay out the materials that I want in there. Then I just marked off exactly where I wanted to cut the fabric. Now I'm just gluing around the areas that I want to store things in and I'm also gluing all around the edges. After that, I'm just flipping it over and then I'm basically done. You could do the DIY in a composition notebook, a three subject notebook, or even a binder. So it's really up to you. This last DIY is literally gonna take you guys two seconds. I'm not even joking. All I did was spray paint my staples gold. I feel like the silver color is really boring and so typical, so be different, get some spray paint and just have fun. And if you don't have spray paint, you could also use acrylic paint. It takes a little bit longer to dry, but it's totally worth it in the end. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to enter my back to school giveaway. The link to that will be in the description box, all the rules and everything. Also, if you're not already, subscribe to my channel so you won't miss out on all like the little cool back to school videos that I'm going to be doing. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, cause you know, thumbs up for back to school videos. All right guys, I'll see you guys in my next video, bye.